All right, video one of several today. This is Monday, April 2nd. I'm running a couple minutes behind. Well, I just want to be early, so I'm filming as I drive here a little bit. Um, I have two appointments today. They're going to take up a lot of my day. The first one is the inspection in Rochester for that smaller house that I sold last week or I purchased with my client last week. Doing the inspection today, I'm hoping everything goes well. I really don't have the time to be looking for other houses of this this amount. So I hope everything goes well today. Um, after the inspection, I have a two, two or three hour window. I may head up the gym, return emails, make some phone calls, and then I'm going straight to Wood Road of my listing in Greece. I'm gonna do a walkthrough today because the closing is in two days. So I'm super excited about that. So hopefully everything goes well today, but I will be showing you some videos of the inspection. Um, John Cope is my inspector. He's super thorough. So I'm gonna be talking with him and maybe show you a couple videos of what he does and what he looks for and everything that, uh, everything with the inspection. Here at the inspection, one of the things that we look for is the age and the service date for the furnace. Um, this one was put in about 85, so it is on its last legs, but it's good to know so the buyer knows how long he may have with it and who has been serviced by. So do always do pop ups. All right, just finished the inspection. Um, I'm headed to the gym because I got about an hour and 20 minutes. I'm gonna do a quick workout before I go through my walkthrough on my sold listing in Greece. So the inspection went super well, actually. The house is in sound, good condition, just little minor things. Actually, one of the most, the easiest, best inspection that we've done so far, actually. Um, nothing major, buyers can have seller fix or do anything, basically. He was actually, the homeowners there actually the whole time, so they were talking the whole time, and they're in agreement on pretty much everything right now, so no worries on that aspect. Now through the walkthrough, everything should be fine on the walkthrough, but I'll be there just to represent my sellers on that. But I got another hour and a half or two hours almost. So I'm gonna go to the gym, do a quick workout, and uh, see you in Wood Road in Greece. So I'm at my second appointment today. Um, this is Wood Road in Greece. This is my listing. We sold it a couple weeks ago. It's been on the market for a couple months. But as you can see, I just put up the sold sign. Um, waiting for the other realtor to show up with the buyer. It's just going to do a quick walkthrough and the closings on Tuesday. So I'm in my car and the uh, agent and buyer just left. Um, young girl, super excited about purchasing her first home. And I got a picture of her in front of the sold sign that I'm going to post also. But it's a weird feeling. I'm like almost sad but excited at the same time. Um, yeah, so it's my first listing that actually sold. Well, my first listing that sold. I've been working with buyers, but it's a different feeling when you're in charge of a house, doing the open houses and doing all the showings and having someone come along and like it, put in an offer and have both sides agree and have it be sold. So as I pull away here for my last time, I'm sad, but also super excited for the future. All right, so I'm just going to give you a quick recap of the day. Uh, my buyer for Seneca Ave in Rochester um, after the inspection, everything went well. He's not going to ask for any changes to be done or made, so that was great. Very smooth inspection. And then the uh, walkthrough on Wood Road in Greece, that went well. It was nice to meet the first time home buyer. She was super excited. And it was also nice to meet the other agent on the other end. We had to deal with some things that aren't that common, so it was nice to deal with, with him and talk with him on a practically a daily basis. Um, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment down below. Thank you.